Okay, so in the latest chapter of Celebrities Day Stupid Stuff, um, we have Julianne Margellis. I hope that's how you say her name. She, um, well, she went on a podcast, said some stuff, and in her apology seemed to be surprised that she said, um, hateful things, and she didn't intend her words to be interpreted like that, as if some of her words could be interpreted any differently. So anyway, let us get right to it, but before that, my name is Susan, welcome to my channel, which I recently renamed to Susan on the News since, um, I delve kind of, sort of, into politics, but not as much as I intend, that I thought I would, so it's mostly news. So we'll stick with that for now, until I can come up with a better name. But anyway, let's get to this article. Emmy winner Julianne Margellis says she is horrified by the reaction to a series of statements she had made about black and LGBTQ Americans, largely college students. I am horrified by the fact that statements I made on a recent podcast offended the black and LGBTQIA plus communities, communities I truly love and respect. And then we're going to later see her not loving and respecting those communities. Well, one of them anyway. Margellis said in an exclusive statement to Deadline, I want to be 100% clear. Racism, homophobia, sexism, or any prejudice against anyone's personal beliefs or identity are abhorrent to me, full stop. Throughout my career, I have worked tirelessly to combat hate, of all kinds and end anti-Semitism, speak out against terrorist groups like Hamas, and forge a united front against discrimination. I did not intend for my words to sow further division, for which I am sincerely apologetic. And once we get to a sampling of those words, I, you'll see that I don't know how they could be taken other than as sewing division because um, maybe she just didn't um, express herself well or maybe things were taken out of context but um, wow Margellis who is Jewish made the comment controversial comments on the back room with Andy Ostroy podcast where she railed against support for Palestine uh, that's not a good start. I mean, granted, there is Hamas. I do not, I've said it before, you can hate Hamas, but still not hate Palestinians. So, to rail against support for Palestine is basically saying you see all of Palestinians as Hamas, as terrorists. So, uh, you say you uh, want to stop hate and then you paint Palestinians with a broad brush. But that's okay. She doesn't stop there. The statements drew major backlash Thursday after audio clips from the interview were posted on Twitter. At one point, Ostroy commented that people hate Jews. Okay, not all of them, but yeah, there's plenty of anti-Semitism in the world. Then briefly talked about the pervasiveness of anti-Semitism in the U.S. and suggested there's more of an uproar over using the wrong pronouns on college campuses. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> um, no. What college campuses are you on? There's been all these rallies, and yeah, some of them were anti-Semitic, but not all of them. Oh, let me just, there we go. 
so you can actually see the top of my head. But, what? <laughs> I mean, yeah, people would like to be respected and have, have the correct pronouns used, but making more of an uproar? Way to um, try to lift up your issue of anti-Semitism by being transphobic. What the hell? Anyway. Oh my God, forget it, Margulis replied. It's those kids who are spewing this anti-Semitic hate that they have no idea if they step foot in an Islamic country. These people who want us to call them they, them, or whatever they want us to call them. It's those people that will be the first people beheaded and their heads played with like a soccer ball, like a soccer ball on the field. And that's who they're supporting? Terrorists who don't want women to have their rights? LGBTQ people get executed. Now, granted, in um, Muslim countries, not Muslims in general, but Muslim countries, <clears throat> where it's a religious country, by and by that I mean religion is the law of the land. Yeah, that is true. In these countries, that is very much true, that the LGBT plus community would end up dead. That is very true. But really, um, painting the entire community with that broad brush, and specifically the trans community, that all trans people are, what, anti-Semitic? Where are you going? I mean, how can you say that and then claim, oh, I didn't mean my words to sow division. You just told, you just said that all trans people are anti-Semitic. What ex how exactly were people supposed to interpret that? I mean, you weren't saying that, well, some those people who are saying that, um, if it's true that they are trans or accepting of trans people, that there would be problems in Islamic countries. Um, that's one thing. If you, you know, use nuance, but just assuming that all trans people are anti-Semitic? Seriously, what exactly did you expect? I am so sick. People, I don't know what it is about this, um, generation. I do not know how old she is, but there's a, at some point... English seem to shift, or at least people are trying to shift it. It used to be that if you said something like, um, you know, trans people are anti-Semitic, you assume the all. You you have to would have to say some in order to get your point across. You couldn't say you know, this group does this thing, and you can omit all because it's assumed. Now, I guess people are surprised when it's assumed that, as opposed to, you know, having to specifically say some. Like, they think that, oh, I obviously mean some. Well, you literally did not say that. So, yes, she isn't wrong that Muslim countries would treat the LGBT plus community like that, but um, then you go ahead and assume all trans people are anti-Semitic. It's, this is a, a hot mess. She also claimed that a black lesbian club at Columbia University screened a film and put signs up that said, no Jews allowed. Well, yeah, that's anti-Semitic. <laughs> and as, some, as someone who plays a lesbian journalist on the morning show, I am more offended by it as a lesbian than I am as a Jew. 
she said, because I want to say to them, you fucking idiots, you don't exist. You're even lower than the Jews. You're A, you're black, and B, you're gay. And you're turning your back against the people who support you because Jews, they rally around everybody. Okay, a little nitpick here. Have you seen Benjamin Netanyahu's government? His right-wing government, where, where literal Jews are literally wanting to kill all Palestinians. Maybe not all Muslims, maybe not all Arabs, but, you know, by all means, kill all Palestinians. No, Jews do not rally around everybody. Now, again, maybe she's just suffering from not understanding that if you don't specifically say some or most or whatever, that... You know, that it's not that if you don't say it, it's not assumed. Because, again, when I was in school, I taught, I learned that all is assumed. So, again, what the hell? Anyway, saying that Adolf Hitler got his entire playbook from the Jim Crow South, well... I don't know if that's entirely true, but he did he 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 did um take notes, yes. Mergalis criticized the black community for not embracing Jews after in the civil rights movement the Jews were the ones who walked side by side with the blacks to fight for their rights. Okay, that's probably true. I'm sorry, we, what black community are you talking about? Because again, maybe I'm sure there are blacks who are anti-Semitic. I'm sure there are. Just like there's um, bigots in any group. But again, if you don't mean the entire black community, then say that there are some in the black community and not implying all. Anyway. The fact that the entire, oh, she even says entire black community, that's just lovely. The fact that the entire black community isn't standing with us, to me, says either they just don't know or they've been brainwashed to hate Jews, she added. Okay, now, it's entirely possible that they do not know. There are a lot of white people who don't know this. Um, thanks to Rachel Maddow, I learned that that um, Adolf Hitler had a picture of Henry Ford in his office. So, um, yeah, yeah, there, there is parts of the hist. There's plenty of the history of the Nazi movement that people have forgotten. But to claim the entire black community is anti-Semitic, seriously, where are you getting this? It's like, do you have, do you know black people at all? Because, what? So, Margellis also brought up colonialists, a term used by Palestinian supporters about Israel, suggesting young black people should leave the country. <sighs> Here's what kills me, she said. These kids are calling Jews colonists. If you're going to go with that argument, kids, then get the F out of America. Because you were not here first. Native Americans were here first, and you owe them a big fucking apology. Okay, now, granted, that is 100% true. If you're going to criticize that the Jews are colonists, which technically they are... Because in 1948, Britain gave them Israel to settle with the small problem that there were already people living there. So, if you're talking about that, then absolutely, I, I admit I'm a big fat hypocrite, but not because... The Jews were settled in 
what was then Palestine. And Palestinians were put in camps in Gaza. And it's the fact that they're pushing into Gaza and making illegal settlements to this day. Um, so yeah, in that response, in that regard, they are, they are, they are colonists. However, I am a hypocrite and would I want to go to a country like my parents are from Slovakia? Would I want to go there? No, not because there's anything wrong with the country, but I don't speak any Slovak. I understand a little bit, but I don't speak it really. So, I'd be screwed. So, on one hand, she's right. On the other hand, we do everything, we do a lot of things that are hypocritical. But it's not that people are asking, at least I hope these are, people aren't asking um, for the destruction of Israel. But just that... You know, they should maybe uh, not force their way into land that isn't theirs. I understand why, because first, that was originally their homeland. Okay, fine. However, why are you pushing into other people's land now? It was one thing when, you know, you had to leave a country that was horribly anti-Semitic and you needed to leave because it was either that or you were going to die. What's your reasoning now to make illegal settlements besides rampant, um, actually anti-Semitism because Muslims are also Semites? I just... So, and yes, many, many Americans can be called colonists because, well, you know what? They can trace their ancestry back to, back to the Mayflower. So, technically, yeah, I can see what they're saying. However, um, if, if these people are calling for the destruction of Israel, definitely fucked up and they should stop because you know that then that would make sense that wait a minute why don't you leave the country because you're literally doing the same thing even though a lot of the black people who are here are here because well they were forced so even with that one that would be just for white people not for black people because they didn't come here willingly. Well, at least um, if you're talking about the initial discovering, discovering of the U.S., the founding of the United States. But, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I do see where she's coming from. But why go after black people for that? Because, again... Probably, if they weren't of more modern immigrants, then, you know, they came as slaves, their ancestors came as slaves, and how is this their fault? Anyway, so then it goes on to give her credentials, as if that should have anything to do with her saying stupid shit. <laughs> I mean, it is interesting that she um, produced an Oscar contending short documentary called Jack and Sam, the story of two Holocaust survivors reunited nearly 80 years after they escaped death in a Nazi labor camp. That's cool. And it's great that she embraces the fact that she's Jewish. Great. But um, some of these... I don't know. I don't see how you could read them or listen th to them back and think, yeah, I didn't intend to sow dissent at all. Because, yeah, you're pitting one group against another. It's just, she says a lot of correct things, but she does them in the worst way possible. 
it's just very weird. And I'm not quite sure what to think about her. Because on the one hand, she makes good points. On the other hand, she apparently doesn't... Um, she She's okay with with um doing the very thing that she claims that she's fighting against. She says she fights against hate, but then um then she paints entire communities with a broad brush just because some in those communities are complete and utter morons. And there are in those communities, I'm sure some of those um, protesters who claim to be pro-Palestine, I'm sure a lot of them are complete and utter morons, like she said. But all of them? Really? Some some of us actually understand nuance. I'm not pro-Israel. I'm not pro-Palestine. On There are dicks on both sides. And they continue to do dickish things. So, right, at this point, I'm, I'm not pro either one. But I'm pro peace. You know, I want them to stop this silliness, have a two-state solution, live in harmony, and, you know, maybe if both left the other one alone for a little bit, maybe, just maybe, they can both flourish and be prosperous. Maybe I'm just naive, but... I want them both, both to prosper. And so when I hear these comments, it's like, what is wrong with you? Fine. It sounds like she gets, she understands a little bit of nuance, but then she proceeds to use none when talking about anti-Semitism. It's just bizarre. I mean, did she, oh, I don't know, think before opening her mouth? Like I said, maybe some of this got lost in context. Maybe she did say some, and that was cut out. Except for the entire black community one, which she obviously meant the entire black community. But it's just bizarre that she would, oh, I don't know, paint entire communities with a broad brush. Hell, she painted Jews with a broad brush saying that Jews embrace everybody, even while there are right-wingers in Netanyahu's own government who want to destroy Gaza, want to destroy Palestinians. So, yeah, in her eyes, Jews can do no wrong. They're the heroes of the story, which is not helpful at all. Because, again, you have bigots and dicks in every community. So, you know, let's not say that one community is so much better than the other ones because they're not. They're not. I mean, you have dicks on all in all communities and you just have to accept that Maybe the majority are a certain way, but not all of them. So it's so easy to say most or or some. But if you it, if you do not say the word all, so but if you don't say those words, people are going to assume all. So I I just don't understand how she thought like I said, unless she, unless something was taken out of context and she did say some or corrected herself with, after she said entire, that didn't, that didn't get um, sent around. I don't know, but it's just, ah, I really, really wish that people would think before they open their damn mouths. It's just horrible. But anyway, I rambled on long enough on this video, so I will see you guys in the next one.